So the Midwest and East Coast have been hit by extremely cold temperatures this week, and they're being blamed on the polar vortex. Chicago was hit with a low this morning of minus 21. Cedar Rapids, Iowa was at minus 30. And over on the East Coast, Boston was at minus five Fahrenheit. So what is the polar vortex? Well, it's this mass of really cold air that's stuck over the Arctic, held there by really strong winds. But sometimes what happens is that polar vortex splits up and that cold air that was stuck over the Arctic gets moved south into the actual continental United States. Similarly, a mass of hot air moves northward. And so what that does is it disrupts those winds, the polar jet stream, that actually keeps the Arctic super cold in winter. So these extreme cold temperatures led the president to tweet, what the hell is going on with global warming? Please come back fast, we need you. Now this misunderstands the basic difference between weather and climate. Weather is when you go outside, you feel what temperature it is. Climate is that weather averaged over decades, and we have decades of observations showing that the climate is warming. The last four years were the warmest on record. As we're experiencing these extreme cold, record-breaking temperatures here in the United States, at the same time in Australia, they have record-breaking heat waves. New research also suggests a warming climate could actually lead to more of these polar vortex events. And that's because the Arctic is actually warming two to three times quicker than the rest of the planet. And as it does that, the winds that usually keep the really cold air around the Arctic weaken. And it weakens the jet stream that leads to slippage of the cold air, more likely into places like the East Coast and the Midwest and into parts of Europe as well. So to summarize, Arctic warming, leads to a weaker jet stream, which leads to more extreme winters. Climate change is all about extremes. And right now, we're seeing twice the number of heat extremes to cold extremes. So long story short, the super cold weather we're experiencing right now is due to the polar vortex. And that polar vortex could actually be made worse and more frequent because of climate change. So this idea that global warming or climate change is gonna to come to the rescue, save us from these cold weather extremes, is not true. We're going to see more extremes as the climate continues to warm. There are going to be more hot extremes, but we're still going to see some cold extremes as well. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.